We get to build a race car. We had to buy the car from a teacher. $10,000 what you're given. Nine week time frame. Race it against another school. I think we should switch cars. We're gonna go hunting for this notorious bug they call a yellow jacket. East Hickman, yellow birds. Both teachers donated their cars, so they got to keep the $10,000 for parts. The car has to go to NADC to fix the chassis. They have the skills and the tools to build the frame, and we do not because we're only teenagers and we have no idea what we're doing. When I first walked in there, I, I was speechless. By bringing it here and having older than high school students do it, it was kind of like being dishonest. The Monza, they was a bad looking car when it was new. Bad model altogether, one of GM's mistakes. Just went up there and looked at the car and see what progress they made. It didn't look good that it's not too big a job for you to do. You're just going to have to man up and do it. This is the real world, guys. The thing about ours compared to Todd's and them, theirs was full of dents. Looked like somebody went around with a ball-peen hammer. It'll be a week and three days from now I'll be on crutches, but I'm not sure about walking, but it's going to be soon, hopefully. We thought he'd be on crutches. Look who's here. Some kind of walkers. Yeah, me and my mom both, his mouth just dropped when they said, you're good to go walking. Huh? Get to play. Yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm already put my helmet on everything. I just can't run. I, barely, I can barely walk. It hurts. He just shows up with nothing. He's strutting his stuff around. It was good to see him up, though. I know he was ready to get out of that wheelchair. I'm glad he's back. There's a lot of work to do. We got brakes in, we got the rear end in. There's three boxes of parts that come from Chris Austin's chassis work. Get Andrew to help you right quick. He knows where everything goes. Everything at this point is two weeks away. Roll the stuff out of that two room, straighten it back up so we got room. We got to start locking the parts up. See, we didn't do it. I told you it's sensitive. I start walking, and then they pull a surprise fire drill. We're starting pre assembly. We don't have time for a fire drill. I want to drive. What? A lot of parts are being fitted and the hardest is the seats. We're gonna fit this thing for whoever makes us the best offer to drive a car. We want the best driver of the car we put in it, so if we need to move the seats, we'll be able to move the seats. Me and Cody worked on making the brackets for the seats. Mount these brackets up to the seat, make sure they fit right. Now all we have to do is loosen two bolts to fit our driver, and whoever that is. We made a trip up last night to Indiana to get the rear end housing assembly. It was a long trip, about 15 hours up there. Nice set of axles, I probably Mosier's. Strange uh, center section. Well, here it is. So hopefully they're gonna get it mounted and get the thing put in. We can get it back end of this week, start finishing up the body and start getting ready to set the engine and all in it. And we're still building the roll cage. We've got more we're going to do on it tonight. We'll just have to wait and see, see how it works out this week. Do you know what the time frame is for the race? No, I don't. Everything goes according to step one, step two, step three, everything works good. I need all of the upper control arms, the coilovers, the shocks. This little thing throws us back by it not getting here in time. That's the reason the trip had to be made. The rear end is there, but I need the stuff to make the rear end fit in the car. I need the four link bars with the time joints, the front mounting brackets for the chassis. I need uh, the tires, upper control arms, the ball joints, the rack and pinion, the tie rod ends. Um, If I could have it next week, it would be wonderful. About 90% of my time is just like this. Our car is about to go to paint. The shop is a madhouse. What I'm trying to do is get everything on the car that could damage it, putting it in. Once he gets it airbrushed, we're trying to do as little as possible to it. This is your front K-member. You got your arms coming off. The other day, we got this radiator right here. Yesterday, we got aerospace brakes. Uh, we're getting these assembled today. We are also installing the rear end. You gotta play with it. Andrew's driving in his little Geo. Yeah. 
Steve, you no. still are a creeper. It's okay. I'm really proud of my kids. They've been working around the clock to get the Mustang on wheels. Putting the track and pinion on so that way when it goes to the body shop, they'll be able to steer it at least. We retapped the bracket for the calipers, fitted them, and then polished them up. Michael and Megan have put in the most hours, and it cost Megan her job. I had worked out a deal with my boss. I would put in what days I could work and what days I couldn't. It got kind of annoying to him, I guess. My dedication was here. There was new girls hired, and they're like, those are the girls that are replacing me. We just kind of got into it, went our separate ways, and I haven't been to Pizza Junction since. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. There's jobs everywhere. Boy, you ain't at Talladega. You don't need to work a wheel that much. <laughs> you got your guys' car back, what, just yesterday? It's sad that the students didn't get to be more involved with the chassis itself. I dressed up like Tim Hobbs. <laughs> with East Hickman High, one thing that was good about their car is it's almost done. We're trying to get it done, but as far as motivational, I'm just an hourly paid guy. I don't really care if it gets done or not. What was going through my head was hopefully that NADC didn't mess up the car. They didn't take our something and turn it into nothing. The cage, we gotta take and finish our Xing here. Well, Hobbs is getting pretty mad. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Yeah? Where is the rest of the car? All the kids are starting to get a little frustrated. Needs to bring the other door. Uh, we gotta make some mounting brackets for the nose. And I told him if there's any parts that you need for us to buy it. But to get the nose up, I need the, uh, I need the hood. Buy it and we'll reimburse you for it. What's your motivation to get this car out there? Honestly, none. And I'm not really doing the work, I just assign the students what to do. We're trying to get it done, but as far as motivational, I'm just an hourly paid guy. I don't really care if it gets done or not. I thought they had all the time in the world. They never told me that it had to be done in a week or two weeks or two months. And we told them they had a time frame to stay within. They just said that they wanted it done. What if I were to tell you that this is supposed to be race ready in, I think I heard, three and a half weeks? Yeah, never make it. All right, boys, let's bring her out. Y'all remember, I ain't got no brakes. We took the Mustang over to David's. He'll install the body kit tonight. We started out right, started out right. <laughs> I drove a car one time, a man come over the radio and he said, boy, he said, you ain't at Talladega. You don't need to work a wheel that much. You started out right, started out Where's David Carroll at? He wanted a steerable car. Wait a minute right there, Dale. We decided our best bet was to bring the car back and finish it here. It's going to yeah. be a rush to get it done. Yeah, I got like three weeks or so. You can see the car already. It's a little rough still. We started off with actually a bigger piece of junk than they did. We're going to try to make this and this look as good or better than theirs. I was hoping to do something special with the Monza emblem. Do you think we could put like a yellow jacket and like FHS inside of it? I bet we could. Or maybe do like the Fairview Crest or something? Sure. Looking better than we thought it would. <laughs> it's in a lot better shape than it looked at first, so. The whole thing about this challenge is, I don't want to lose any of it. I don't want to lose the way the car looks. I don't want to lose a race. Uh, I don't even like to play checkered unless I can win. This is our first year of school. Instead of calling it homecoming, they called it coming home since we're coming back, you know? Some of the students dressed up like old folks. Reality TV. I'm a good one. <laughs> I dressed up like Tim Hobbs. Do both my jobs, pay my bills, walk in my shoes. If you think that you can. This morning, we're very fortunate to uh, have Brad Wagner with us. He's from Wild Tech. He teaches chassis construction. All these guys have been working on the car just about every night. Everything on the board up there was completed on time. Actually, we've completed the thing early. You have exceeded every expectation I have had for you and everybody else's. You know a lot of stuff. It's your time to ask the guy that does this every day. Started out right, started out right. 
I've been an instructor at WildTech for four years now. I've been doing this my whole life. Started building a 1971 Challenger when I was 14 years old. Raced it, built a 69 Roadrunner. After high school, you gotta do something, right? When you do something that you love every day, you're gonna do good. How many guys spin your tires? If you don't raise your hands, I'm calling you liars. All right, how many guys got cars that can barely spin their tires going straight, but as soon as you go around a corner and punch it, guess what you can do? Look how long that steering shaft is. Look where he's setting now. That's pretty much the back seat. Anytime you can start moving weight to the back on a drag car is definitely gonna be a, a good scenario. We're gonna run over to David's. I'm gonna let Brad take a look at what we got. With these Tickman High, one thing that was good about their car is it's almost done. Motor mount's done, the front and rear suspension's in. These all had to be re-notched. It was made to work, but not made to fit. So what we have What's that? No. Uh, it's pretty good. Trust me when I say it <laughs> Oh, some of the welds actually look really, really good. They're in paint right now. They'll have a finished product, and they may even get to be able to test it prior to going to the race. Well, yours is getting close to done. I haven't seen theirs. Maybe theirs not even getting done yet. He sent us bumper stickers. I figure a man's got time to sit around and make bumper stickers. You ain't doing a whole lot on a race car. <laughs> if you can, like, accidentally break something, it costs a lot of money. All right, you got your guys' car back what, yesterday. yesterday. Overall, the cage is pretty good. I would like myself to have a few extra braces. I'd probably X the bottom of the main hoop more than I'd do anything in case of a roller. And one thing with your car, as long as the gusset area right here in this miter cut, that would, that would be your first point of failure in my eyes. Fairview has a lot of work ahead of them a lot of work. They have a really rusty car. The craftsmanship itself in the tube chassis, not real, real high standards. Will it hold? Will it do what it's supposed to? Yeah. It's sad that the, the students didn't get to be more involved with the chassis itself. Odd for me to say, but the trade school versus Hickman High's quality control, I think they have a better welder there at, at Hickman High School. He sent us bumper stickers. His saying was uh, he needs to work on the car more and try to get it done instead of building bumper stickers. <laughs> Will they even get it done in time? I guess we'll have to see. Mr. Brown, I've seen you work on this car more than anybody. I think you ought to take the honors putting this first coat on. We got a big hole right here. Throw a cat through, we got to fix. It'll look a lot better when we got wheels and tires on it. Make it look like a car again. Everybody doing good today? This car thing come alive. David wants everybody that was here that worked yesterday afternoon. Get your hands washed up and get ready to go to work. I'm positive. This very good, boy. Somebody poke him in the stomach. <laughs> Mr. Brown, I've seen you work on this car more than anybody. It's more than just going, you know, to school because at school we really don't get that much done. I think you ought to take the honors putting his first coat on. After school, I'd start, uh, average day would be about 5.30 to 9, 9.30. Go all the way to the end. There you go, looking good. There you go, man. We're doing good over here. We can't get much better than this. Michael's hard work has earned him a new title, crew chief. What do you think, man? How's it feel? Feel good? There you go. Man's a natural, can't you? David said I was the best painter there. Come on, way to the end before you angle it. There you go. All my hours I put in was well worth it. I mean, it was amazing looking, like glass. I did the first coat on this and the second one on this panel. I think it looks good. I 
just be a piece of cake. I got Justin making a template for the gas cover. We gotta cover up the little holes before we can get to the big ones. Look at there, guys. How about that? All right. This panel's made. Door handles. Fill up some holes in the doors. We got a big hole right here. Throw a cat through. We got to fix. Okay. We got Terry from Aries Boats to make us a custom hood, and we're going to put it on to see how it fits. It looked a lot better when we got wheels and tires on it. Make it look like a car again. We ought to take that car and put an eagle made out of fire. We'll drag out the paint, rust oleum paint, and paint over it. <laughs> that paint job will make that car go 7% faster. Mondo's a good thing. Covers all the bad spots. Up. I'm 51 years old and I still act like I'm 18. I had never heard of Mickey Harris. David done all of that for us. Man, he said, guess who's coming? We got online and, and met him, and that was a neat deal to happen. We ought to take that car and put an eagle made out of fire and make it out of blue flames. So we're just going to light it on fire, and I'm going to run some smoke down it. Does that sound cool? Yes. 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 So are we going to kick their tail on this one or what? Yes. 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 Who wants to paint yellow jackets anyway, huh? Basically, it's going to kind of lay in the shape of an eagle's head. So this is kind of where that one set of claws, the talons, is going to be. And what we're doing is just setting the groundwork for where we want to put all this. And we're going to make him just a badder, bigger eagle. When you look at that, you're going, that's pretty ugly, isn't it? And I just automatically knew he was an artist. That's what makes this so unique, because this technique has only been done twice that I know of. Young people have a look in their faces, you know, you can see when they're excited about something. In my eyes, in my eyes. And to be part of that, I mean, that's one of the coolest things that you can do in life. Unique. Amazing. Oh. Yeah, baby! The teachers, the guys that are doing it, they're the ones that are the real inspiration and, you know, really you know, deserve the credit. You know, everybody's inspired by a teacher somewhere in their life. It gives you that spark to do something. And you know, it pays off in the end. That paint job will make that car go 7% faster. Well, heck, I'm part of the team now. Do me a favor, will you? Win. <laughs> so, go Eagles. We'll drag out the paint, rust oleum paint and paint over it. <laughs> so they still got two seats in there anymore? Yeah, they got two, I understand. I don't know why. That's another wasted weight. I'm not going to ride anybody down the track in a race car. Probably still got that radio and everything in there. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully not. I'll tell you what we need to do. Sell that grid in there. Oh, that's got to come off. I got Kyle and Preston to clean the rear end housing and the parts washer. We still don't have all the tools here to finish the chassis, and we still got a lot of holes. We're still going to try to fix it if we have to bondo the whole car. Bondo's a good thing. Covers all the bad spots up. Our coming home pep rally is today. I hope we get fired up enough to score some points tonight. Sophomores! Juniors! Seniors! The highlight of the rally was our first annual balloon run. You gotta make it to the other side without popping the balloon or knocking the balloon off without starting over. Maybe it's gonna be easy. Well, it wasn't. We couldn't figure out how to do it. We tried walking and pop out. We both had to hop together. I'm out on the floor for every competition. I've missed like one game, and I think it's because I was sick. It's high school, you gotta live it up the most you can, so I'm doing it. I want to remind everyone about the game that we're having tonight against Adamsville. 
This will be our first ever East Hickman High School homecoming. Get ready. While we were getting our butts kicked, David and William were working theirs off, protecting our $25,000 paint job. Uh, after 12 hours, it clearly don't want to stick to it. See, these are the guys that make me look good. They worked almost 48 hours clear coating and buffing the car. I owe David a big one. Well, it's safety right here, maybe our first point, two. We finally scored the first points of the year. I hope we score a bunch of points next week against Fairview. How about it, Eagle? Let's you. When you expect the motor? Uh, Let's go! I'm not sure what happened. I think somewhere along the line the ball got dropped or something. We're gonna cook up some eagle stew! What do you guys think the hardest part of the spin so far? Getting the car back. Getting the car back. Go East Hickman, crush those yellow jackets. The yellow jackets suck. <laughs> if that car were in my shop, I, I wouldn't be able to get it done by that dead one. You sounded real sure on that one. <laughs> I know. Somebody scratches that car, they're gonna have to deal with all of it. No one scratches it. No one breaks fingers.